Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は梅干しと大葉を使ったイワシの香味揚げを作ります。First, let's prepare the sardine fillet. With a paper towel, remove the excess moisture thoroughly. Remove the tail fin. Check out the skin side, and you'll see this back fin. To remove this, cut out the middle of the fillet lengthwise. Then, cut the fillet into four pieces. Next, mince the umeboshi, pickled plum with a knife until it turns into a paste. Cover the sardines with the umeboshi paste evenly. Then, coat them with the mayonnaise. Now, place each fillet onto a shiso leaf in a tray. Wrap the fillet with a shiso and place them with the seam side down. Sprinkle any type of wheat flour on both sides of the shiso wrapped sardines. Now, let's make the batter. Put two tablespoons of ice water into a bowl. Combine the flour and potato or cornstarch and add it to the ice water. Leave some pockets of flour in the batter and avoid over mixing. This will help the batter to have a crispy texture. Drop a small bit of batter into the oil to check if the temperature has reached about 170 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, coat each sardine with the batter and place it into the oil. When the outside begins to get crispy, flip the pieces over. Deep fry them until they are lightly colored. Remove the shiso wrapped sardines and place them onto a cooling rack. Arrange the pieces in a basket. Finally, garnish with the momiji leaves and the lemon wedge. Using ice water and a small amount of potato starch for the batter will help make the outside crispy. Those who don't like the taste of umeboshi may still enjoy this dish. Umeboshi to oba de iwashi ga sappari oishiku itadakemasu. If sardines are not available, try beef, pork, chicken, or other types of fish for this recipe. Good luck in the kitchen! Come on. Come on.